Hello everybody, and sorry my voice, uh, I started recording a bit too early, and now we are going to do part 2 of this tutorial, and I'm going to need to teach you something real quick. Um, hold alt, and then you can, um, uh, I just found this out, if you press a block, I mean, a whatever, while holding alt, you can like resize it and stuff. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's a little cool little feature I found out, um, it's actually very useful. Things like this. No, it's wrong. But, oh yeah, this thing's uh, messed up. Hate it when that happens. Sorry, I just need to do something real quick. It's OCD. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna go over uh, some uh, things. Uh, pro mostly dealing with uh, building, but we're also gonna go over the game property. So, I'm going to go over every single one in this episode, hopefully. Um, so, additional XP needed. Okay. So, basically, um, for every time, so, like, when you, the initial XP, I guess you need at the first level. Um, so, yeah, like, at level 1, you're going to need 100. So, at like, any level, that adds on to how much XP you need. So, hence the name, additional XP needed. Um, so, yeah, that's simple. Um, attribute cap. It's how high your attributes can go. Just for this tutorial, I am going to just cap it, and that's the highest number you can have um, in Roblox. If, yeah, if for uh, integers. So I'm going to copy that for futures in the future. Uh, this is how much your attribute reset will cost, which is basically, um, if you guys don't already know what the, okay, I'm going to show you guys what the attributes are real quick. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know. Wait for it a bit and. So when you click that, this is your attributes. So it'll currently cost twelve fifty, um, because we haven't edited that. So yeah, that's that's how much it'll cost, and then that'll always add on to each level. Um, yeah. So per level, uh, we don't want we don't want attribute resets to cost anything. I just don't like to do that. Um, base crit chance. Let's make it two percent. This is the percent, by the way. Base hit chance. Uh, let's make it more. Rare. Let's make it eighty percent. You know. Don't like to miss crit chance cap. I don't really like caps. I don't. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna cap everything at like 100 percent. Uh, crit chance dexterity magnitude. So that basically is um you're gonna need uh five dexterity to get one ch crit chance. If I set this to one, I think that'll make it one dexterity per crit chance. I'm not completely sure, but I think that's what it is. Sorry if I get that wrong. I don't really edit that. Um, so I, just, I would just leave it at five. If I were you, defense mode. Um, this determines like whether or not you're gonna uh you're gonna you're gonna add def you're gonna add um defense to your guy, or you're gonna add health, or you're gonna add both health and um defense to your armor. And we'll get into armor later tutorials. Dexterity to gain ranged damage. Pretty obvious right there. Um, should be self-explanatory. HP per constitution. Every, every um, every time you level up, uh, no, every time you get allocate a constitution point, you get ten HP. Um, you get five HP per level. Uh, we could change that to like um maybe, I don't know, fifteen. I'll just do twelve. That would look better. As PVP. Very self-explanatory if the game has a PvP feature. Hit chance cap. Let's make this 100 because you know we like to hit things. Don't. Uh, hit chance. So we actually know what that means. Sorry guys, I made a mistake. Um, what this means is basically um how much percent um of a crit chance you'll get per level per uh, dexterity. I mean, so yeah, we could change that. Let's just keep that at 10. And is, uh, crit chance, dexterity, magnitude, let's change that to three. Um, I'm also gonna change them a bit. Uh, so level cap, we're gonna want this to be very, very high. Well, that's what I always do. I don't you know. You guys can do whatever you want, really, but that's what I'm just gonna do. Um, levels to gain points. Basically, how many level it will take before you get your next points. Let's just make this like five, but then you'll get like 25 attribute points. Um, no, you you could change this to whatever you want. If you want to make a unique game where if you get every five levels you get like twenty attribute points, or if you just want to be normal and give two every 
level one level. That is totally fine. Whatever you want to do. Levels to gain range damage and that's how many levels it takes before you get the range damage. Level to increase sword damage. Um, MP for intelligence. Um, is basically like how much mana points you get per intelligence. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I hope you guys didn't make that same mistake. It could really mess up your game. Okay, magic points per level, mana points per level. I mean, you're just gonna set that to one. Mana regenerate. Uh, don't really mess with this. This just determines how fast it regens. If you put this at like three, I think it'll go. Like the higher you put it, I think the faster it'll regen. I think that's how many um mana it regen per second. So I'm just gonna set that at no. How many seconds until it regens a mana? I think that's how it is. So point gain increment, basically every time you level up, or every time you've leveled up enough times, um, which is obviously uh, levels to gain points. Every time you leveled up, levels to gain points times, which in that case will be 1. Um, that's how many points it will give you. So I could change this to like 10, or 5, which is what I think is kind of cool. I like to make it 5. Um, range damage per gain dexterity, so every time you allocate dexterity you get 1. Range damage per gain level one. Well, range damage until you've reached um uh the level to get range damage. There we go. Um, starting attribute points. How many you start with? You know, initially. Um, you start with five attributes each. So that's how many attributes you start with for each attribute. Like if I set this to like twenty-five, then yeah, you'll start with twenty-five in each skill. But we're just gonna put like zero, or let's just put one. Starting HP, very obvious. Let's let's make this like ten. Let's make the starting MP five. Um, strength to increase sword damage. How many strength points you need to increase the sword damage? Um, sorry, I had to check that real quick. Um, yeah, we're not really gonna edit that much. Um, but the, okay, so sword damage. Per gain level, so every time you gain enough levels, you get that. Um, sword damage per strength, like how much you get per strength. Um, XP exponent magnitude, like basically how much it takes the to the, to the power to every time you level up. So if I put this at like, um, it'll take it. This is square. This is cube, and this is um like to the fourth, to the fifth, to the sixth. I would just keep that at two hundred if I were you. Um, but it doesn't really matter if you have a linear XP. However, mine's gonna be square because it just it's just better. Um, but if you're gonna do square, it'll. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. So square, it would be like okay. So XP for. So I'm gonna show you guys something. It's hard to explain in words. So linear would be um. Let's say uh additional. XP equals 100, and then XP per level equals 25. So, level 1, 125, level 2, 150, level 3, 175, level 4, 200, level 8 would be 300, level 12 would be 400. Yeah, it's kind of boring to do that, wouldn't you think? Uh, so, this is what square would essentially do. So, um, additional XP. Uh, let's do let's do twenty. Uh, additional yeah. Um, additional XP for twenty XP per level. Let's do like five. Yeah, let's no, let's do ten. So that that's what I'm usually that's what I usually do. So your first level would be level one would be one hundred ten. Level two would be one forty. Level three would be one ninety. I'm pretty sure. That, yeah. Um. Or be two sixty. Three fifty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And then, sorry if I'm wrong, by the way. Exponential, exponential. It'll go like I don't know. XP. It'll go like this. So next level equals um current XP to next level. Um, and then you're gonna make that to the power of um XP exponent magnitude divided by a hundred. I think that's how it goes. So if you're gonna have an exponential level system, 
I'm pretty sure you shouldn't, you wouldn't want um, 200 for that. I'm sorry if I'm incorrect on that. I only use square and linear, so yeah, I'm just assuming on that one. Um, so yeah, now we are going to place, um, I'm going to show you how to use a mob, and then we're going to be done. So, yeah, I guess we, we're going to do that in the next tutorial. Sorry about that, guys. And then we're also going to teach you how to, um, edit the map and make it a lot better, so then we can have a cool-looking game. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy, and we will see you guys in a later tutorial. So much emphasis. Uh, see you guys.